shoes that you can wear when you go out dancing and uh, is there anything in particular you'd like to let the ladies know? Rachel? Um, sure. So when I am looking for a shoe to wear out dancing, I personally don't like a heel that's too big. So I like to keep the heel on the small side. Um, so this one is around, what would you say, two, two and a half inch heel. Um, and then same for my boots. I don't like a boot that has a very high heel, so this one is nice. Um, the one that I'm wearing currently is a nice size heel. It's just really nice and comfortable um, for me, and um, I don't get tripped up on a small heel that way, so it's just really comfortable for me. What, what makes a comfortable shoe for you when you say um, comfortable? Well, so I have high arches, in particular, so it's difficult for me to find shoes that aren't comfortable, period, even just for walking. <laughs> so um, for dancing, what makes the shoe comfortable is if it, it fits nicely under my arch and uh, provides support. Um, so that's really one of the main things that makes the shoe comfortable or not comfortable for me. Well, I also think, you know, we're talking about the early stages of dancing. Like mm -hmm. This is not performance dancing. Sure. This is not about having the proper salsa shoes or anything like that. This is about what kind of shoes are going to feel comfortable, yes. what's going to feel good on your feet, and like I know for me, besides the, the height, is how smooth it is. Like how much can I wheel around on the floor with them yeah. um, and smoothly make turns mm -hmm. and things like that. That's a big thing for me. Definitely. Could I address that right now? Yeah. So an example of my favorite shoe has a leather bottom. Mm -hmm. This is a vintage reproduction to me, it's very difficult to find leather bottom yeah. shoes. Mm -hmm. So I like to be able to glide on this shoe. Um, it does have a little bit of a higher heel, but it's solid. So what I do with that angle, pressing on the ball of my foot, I will use these inserts that can be stuck inside the toes. And then voila, I can dance all night. Lovely. But <laughs> here's an example of not being able to glide on a shoe. Yeah. This is a great low heel for me, super comfy, squishy inside, very um, orthotic type, but I found myself, un myself unable to spin using this plastic rubbery bottom. Mm -hmm. But they have an answer for that, so I brought these. Um, so what you could do for your favorite pair of shoes, if they're really comfortable, is you can slide this, it's called a shoe sock and you slide it over the toe of your shoe. So if you were wearing that shoe, you would just slide this on after your foot is in it, of course. And okay, I mean, it maybe looks a little goofy. It's not fashion forward, but uh, it will allow you to slide more easily and you don't have to buy a new pair of shoes if you're not sure dancing is for you. So this here, and then uh, your other alternative is you can put these, um, leather bottoms uh, on your existing shoes as well. Again, that sort of helps you use shoes that you've already got. Okay. Ladies, before we go any further, could you all say your names, please, so that for people this is the first they've seen. I'm Mary. I'm Rachel. I'm Sherry. I'm Tanya. Okay, continue. Well, I was going to address the, the rubber <clears throat> bottom uh, shoe mm -hmm. issue that you don't realize how it can wrench your knees mm -hmm. when you're doing those spins. Um, and the, the, after a night of dancing in rubber sole sh sh shoes, you will soon find out that that is, that's, you've got to do another, you know, it's got to have another option. So um, these particular shoes that I'm wearing, which are really old and beat up, but they have um, a slick, more of a plastic bottom to them. So they're not leather sole, but they, they are very slick. I love them. I've been using them since I started dancing and they're my favorite dance shoes, though they're super beat up. But um, 
But my, uh, I have, these are my favorite dance boots and they're so favorite that I got two identical pairs, but um, you will have to get them resold from time to time. So make sure that you're, you know, you have a good, you know, a good shoe repair person and because they can make your old boots that look like this, um, keep you dancing for a really long time. And so I would encourage you, you know, find, find a pair that you really like. I also put um, little inserts, com comfortable inserts on, on the inside of mine. And again, it kind of um, allows for you to um, extend the use of the shoe, um, especially if they're your favorites. And, and I don't want to give up these, you know, these old, these old boots uh, just because they're old. <laughs> well, and you don't out. have to break in a new pair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. the best part, right? That's like, part. like a good that's friend. Part. Yeah. <laughs> other ideas? Another? Well, I mean, I think when you're ready, I mean, this is all about really shoes that you already have, maybe you like, or something you could use for other things besides dancing. Uh, but once I knew that I was going to be dancing a little bit more, um, I actually bought, I think they're called character shoes. These are actually dance shoes. There's some different brands out there. Um, I mean, they look a little bit more formal and not very fashionable, um, but they're really comfortable and they're designed for people who are trying to dance for a long time. So they've got the nice lining inside and they, the heel is in the right spot. Like I, I can dance for hours with these guys. So that, that's sort of what I upgraded to. The leather's yeah. really soft on those. Yeah, too, right? just, it just, it's really great. It's, so these are great. And um, closed toe mm -hmm. is also oh, yes. a really yes. good idea. Yeah, but you've got some open toe right there. Though. Got the open toe That's over here. So it's, it's, it's a little peep toe. <laughs> <laughs> I have been injured. <laughs> yes. Cute shoes, though. I, so. I yeah. was injured by a, another follow on the dance floor who yeah. was wearing a really tiny heel, and she stepped right on my toe. It's the most dangerous thing. Yeah. 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 Ever a peep toe. Or That's really important. Peep toe is preferable over strappy. Yes. yes. Yeah. But, but it's true, it's actually other follows yes. that step on me. It's yes. not my lead stepping on me, true. it's other follows. So their shoes with or a heel or, yeah. or if you have a big boot yes. on. Yeah. Yeah. We will be covering this uh, to help uh, men and ladies, the things you can do to avoid getting crushed by someone else. Sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, real quickly, uh, and ladies, that's all good information. If you happen to go out and you buy a brand new pair of shoes and you love them and you take them to the dance place and it's slick as ever, go out to the concrete and just rub them around and it'll rough them up just enough so that you can go back in and you can wear those shoes on that night. Another thing right by Tanya's foot is another secret that you can use and that is duct tape. <laughs> if you have shoes that are very sticky and you're just real sticky and you don't like it, you can just take a small piece of duct tape, put it on, see what it feels like, put more, put less. Hey, who knew duct tape on shoes? Continue ladies, <laughs> very informative. Well, one thing I was gonna say is uh, there are times that I go dancing that um, in a more casual environment when I'm less concerned about really looking nice or having really nice looking shoes. Um, and so, you know, uh, these shoes are really popular. They're easy, comfortable, easy to just slip on. And so I wear these a lot when I'm just practice dancing or during the day when I go dancing to some of my casual places. The thing about these for me is that they don't offer any arch support. Um, and so again, I just do what these ladies have done. I just have my little inserts that I wear in them and they're comfortable and I can dance in them for a really long time. May I accept? And they slide around really well too. Yeah. So yeah. if you look at the bottom of her shoe right there, you see the dirt on it. There's something about a lot of the honky tonks that we go to, they have concrete floors and the dust on there is seriously pretty, it's pretty bad. The dust makes it better to dance. People come and actually put the powder down. Mm -hmm. So you go away and you had shine shoes you leave and they're dirty so that's that's something to think of too so Rachel can wear those and not worry that it'll ruin those shoes mm -hmm. yeah yeah the, um, the dance wax or the you know the dust like you call it um, can can definitely help mm -hmm. uh, yeah you get on those concrete floors and and or if lots of drinks are spilled on the floor or just you know whatever the, the case is um, the the uh, dance wax really helps. Um, you don't want to, if what 
what I have experienced is someone will bring the dance wax, they'll put it in a corner. They won't, they don't slosh it all over the dance floor because it can get really, you don't need much of it. You don't need much of it. And so beware of this stuff. Um, just put, you might want to just dip your feet in a little bit of it, but um, by all means, don't think that you need to cover your foot. It'll be way too slippery. Yeah. And you'll, you know, that that can be an injury just waiting to happen. So be careful of that dance wax. How about some of the other shoes you had? Did we go for Well, and I was going to say along those lines that uh, even with a leather sole shoe on a concrete dance floor, like we have in a lot of places here, uh, you need dance wax yeah. because yeah. to do the spins, it really does kind of wrench your knee even mm -hmm. with a leather sole shoe. Mm -hmm. So get some of that and bring it with you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We're yeah. lucky we have some men and we men we have some yeah. care of that. Yeah. Bring it's it. funny, I know yeah. when I'm at a certain bar, I know that corner's the wax corner. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. And I there tell my go. lady as we get over there because it eventually spreads a little like, okay, yeah. we're in that area. Oh, see you later. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, well, but I have found, though, that with, I don't know, open-toed shoes and doing um, two-step, mm -hmm. there's a lot of boots. Yeah. <laughs> and two-step, a lot of boots. So, have you found it's... I only wear closed-toed shoes. When you're two-stepping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two -stepping. yeah. Yeah. I wore these uh, swing dancing recently, and I've done them, I've worn them with salsa dancing, but I don't... So I want to jump in here. Uh, Two-stepping and honky-tonk, folks, uh, where we go dancing, it's very crowded. Mm -hmm. So you're really in a, a crush of people, and literally your arms, your elbows, your derriere bumping into people. So you definitely know your feet have to be protected. So I just wanted to explain, you know, when we're at a dance hall, a little more room, not as important. Sure. And, and most of all, I'm honestly, huh. getting started, if you think back to when you started dancing, it was about comfort. Yes. Like you yeah, want to do things, <laughs> which it still is, but <laughs> still like is. it's the comfort that will make you feel confident. You know, people are not really looking at your shoes, but they, they do want to see that you know your dance moves. Yes. So. I remember yeah. <laughs> when I first started going out dancing and I was just wearing a pair of regular shoes that I had in my closet that were peep toe and just slip on and they didn't offer much coverage over on my foot and they slipped off easily and they were just a horrible pair of shoes to dance in um, so it wasn't long before I went and bought a pair of cowboy boots yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's what I've worn for a really long time and when the insole wore out I replaced it with a new insert and just worn them out. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know whether I can just add this one little tip. Um, I, I, it, it kind of has something to do with shoes, but um, if you're wondering where to put your money and your the key to your car or your IDs and things like that, um, this wonderful little purse that a friend gave me, um, a dear friend, it's soft and it just can slip right down into my boot and I don't even feel it. It almost looks like a coin purse. It is. It yeah. is exactly <laughs> almost like but a coin purse. But it's a nice purse. soft material. Yeah, that's right. So you, even with some of these other options, well, not necessarily the, the dance shoe types, but um, but the boots, you you know, you definitely have an option to keep, you know, a little bit of money and ID and key and things like that. That can just slip right down inside your boot. We, so, yeah, we need yeah. a whole special segment just on personal. Yes, yes, accessory I, stuff. I, I yeah. Know, yeah. Mary, you said something thing, earlier yeah. about that shoe. Oh, sorry, oh, Rachel. I wanted to bring up. You said um, something about strap. when you yes. dance that it, you glide. It makes you feel like you're winning. Yes, help me glide. So, yes, I, I do wear peep toe shoes when I uh, two step, uh, but I'm very careful <laughs> and wear that. Uh, I've seen the accident that can happen but uh, when you purchase a shoe look for something that's leather because it'll give and also look for a strap that has plenty of little holes because the leather will strap, uh, stretch eventually and you'll want to keep moving that strap over and you want something really nice and snug mm -hmm. around your ankle and a T-strap is a really good idea as well. Yes. It keeps your foot in place and helps prevent strain or twisting your ankle. Slides are a horrible idea for dancing. Yeah. Would you agree, girls, while yes. we're on you it? Don't want to uh, a strap, or something that keeps yeah. that baby on your foot is yeah. what it's all about, right? Yeah. And aren't you the most secure of any shoe in a boot? When you go yes. dancing, I mean, don't you feel like <laughs> if, Western, yeah. if yes. someone, yes. I feel like much less vulnerable. Yes, yeah. yes. I mean, especially yeah. from behind. 
I've yeah. gotten stepped on my ankle from other dancers. Yeah. Yes. You yeah. can get stepped on anywhere. It's not just your toes. Or you bump yeah. toes with your lead sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's all wonderful information. So give yourselves a hand. Oh, one more, Rachel. It's um, that fan. Uh, you can actually store it in your boot if you have a taller boot. So I don't oh, know if you want me to share. Yes, yeah. where is the fan? It's, oh, here it is. Over there. And that's where you keep your skinny fan in your yeah. boot? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I learned this little trick from someone I saw out on the dance floor one night. She had this uh, a beautiful fan and she was fanning herself. And then um, someone came to ask her to dance and she just put it right inside her boot. And I thought that was brilliant. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've adopted that. So when I'm wearing a boot that's higher, um, it's actually a great storage spot for a little fan. And then when yeah. you're on the side of the dance floor waiting for someone to ask you, you have a handy little fan to keep you nice and yeah. cool. Yeah. That's a great idea. <laughs> hand fans yeah. are a, a must. You know, it, it's, it'll really save save you from passing out sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and your other dance partners really like yes. it. Yes, we yes. do. <laughs> I love those fans. I'm all of a sudden there's some air and I'm like, where? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> any other thoughts, ladies? This is all such yeah, health and material. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you very much. Everybody was dancing in the moonlight.